All right, everybody, welcome to my inaugural diecast, NASCAR diecast video. And um, this first video is going to be my entire collection so far. Um, it's not as big as um, it will be, because um, as I if you want details on like how it's not as big as it's going to be and everything, I'm not even going to get into it in this video. If you want details on how that's a thing, then just go to the introduction video for this that I uploaded right directly before this. Okay, so we're going to start with all my Kyle Busch. So, this is like my whole Kyle Busch shrine in my room, by the way. So, yeah. We'll start with the uh, 2014 Interstate All Battery Centers from the 2014 Coke Zero 400 where we flipped and wrecked. And everything else that's not good about wrecking. And right here, we have... M&M's peanut butter, my most recent one. I actually got this one in the mail today. Um, I saw him race this one in person in Pocono in 2013, and he finished eighth. Um, and then we have 2014 Snickers. Yeah. This one is um, from the Brickyard in the Brickyard 400 in 2014, and we finished second to Jeff Gordon. And these two are... The newest ones in the collection, I guess you could say. Well, no, I think the next ones actually are the newest ones. Um, not, like, in the way of new to me, like, new and, like, newest ever. Um, these two I got at Pocono this year um, in at the June race. Uh, the one on the left is the 2016 M&M's paint scheme, and the one on the right is the 2016 Skittles. Um, these two are the championship diecasts. The one on the left is the Interstate Batteries championship diecast and the one on the right is m&m's crispy and speaking of m&m's crispy we have the basic m&m's crispy paint scheme from 2015 which um was actually rare at the like the end of the season like people were like paying like 20 dollars for one because they weren't making them anymore and then i was lucky enough to find one at target for five bucks so i bought it and then this one i found at five below which is also a rare diecast, so that was another big find. Um, it's the 2012 Red, White, and Blue Patriotic, I believe. Yeah. And then this one is, like, I can't confirm or deny that might have been the first Kyle Busch item ever owned by me in, like, 2009. That's either the 2008 or the 2009 M&M's Paints game. I believe it's 2008. And, um, this one, that's not even really a diecast. That's just, like, a, um holler thing that had M&M's in it that I got at Five Below. Okay, now up here are other drivers. I have, like, older ones. I don't have any newer ones yet. I'm getting on that because, like, I only started collecting Kyle Busch, and then I just decided, like, yesterday that, it's like, hey, let's, like, make this into a hobby and just, like, start collecting other drivers, too, regardless of if I like them or not. Like, my most hated driver is Brad Keselowski, and I'm still probably going to buy his light, his Miller Light diecast because I really like that paint scheme. Like, that's how in-depth I'm going to get into this. And that's how, that's also how, like, in-depth other diecast reviewers get into it, too. Like, they'll buy diecasts from drivers that they absolutely can't stand. And, like, they'll always say, like, I don't care for this driver, but this diecast is awesome. Like, that's basically how I'm going to go about this. So these two are, like, cereal box 43s. Um, the one is, like, a Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then the other one is just, like, a regular Richard Petty thing. Uh, this is Tony Stewart, Office Depot. Office Depot, uh, the year is, um, trying to find it on here, 2010, and, um, yeah, I don't know the years on most of these, because these were just, like, little kid toys that I had, like, pretty much, uh, right here we have Ward Burton, probably, like, 2002, 2003, and the only reason I know that is because, or maybe a little bit later than that, but... That paint scheme and, like, that driver and everything was on a, the NASCAR Thunder 2003 game that I have for GameCube that I always play for some reason. This one came with NASCAR 14, the Walmart bundle one I bought. It. It's just a NASCAR 14 one. This is a Jeff Burton Singular Wireless. Uh, this one's really cool. I like this one. Dale Jr. Oreo Ritz, number eight. And then Jr. National Guard. And this one I got at a, uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Antique store. Uh, for like five bucks or something. It's like an Atlanta Motor Speedway, and it has like the Cracker Barrel 500 thing on it. That's that was the race, and it was in 2000. Um, yeah, it's just like 
a diecast from that race. So that's the collection so far, but it will be a lot bigger as I get into these videos and stuff. Like, as I said, I'm going to do like shopping videos and I'm going to do unboxing videos and I have like six or seven coming in the mail right now, um, next week. So I'll do unboxing videos of those as they come. And, um, yeah, all that interesting.